A timecode queue list is the same as a normal queue list with the addition of a few timecode features. You can create a timecode queue list by selecting timecode when recording a new queue list, or by selecting timecode in the queue list options window. Timecode must be turned on in the menu for the console to allow timecode queue list to operate. Press menu, then touch system, IO settings, and the timecode tab and turn active inactive to on. You can also set the source type here and turn on a timecode clock in the command line. Touch apply to complete the command. A timecode queue list has an added column for the timecode trigger time as well as a timecode clock and timecode follow button in the header. With edit mode on, the learn timing button becomes available. Queues can still be triggered manually and by weights and follows in a timecode queue list. You can enter your timecode triggers by having the list learn timing as you manually trigger the queues or by entering the timecode trigger directly in the trigger box. Timecode queue lists must be active in order to trigger via timecode, so you must trigger the initial queue of the list. It is recommended that you record an initial setup queue, either with or without values, to activate the queue list. To use learn timing, select the queue list you're working on and activate your queue list. Make sure edit mode is on, then touch learn timing. Activate your timecode source. For this demonstration, I'm using internal timecode. And press the main go every time you want a queue to trigger. The console will lock in the trigger time of your go. When you're done, touch learn timing to turn off the feature. Reset your timecode source, then release the queue list and reactivate. With timecode follow on, the list will now trigger whenever a queue sees a trigger time. Timecode is defined as hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. You can manually enter a timecode time by touching the box and entering the time on the keypad. Press enter to complete the command. The console doesn't require you to enter all eight numbers to enter a time. If you want 0 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds, and 15 frames, just enter 15. So if you enter 1 or 2 numbers, the console assumes frames. 3 or 4 numbers is seconds and frames. 5 or 6, minutes, seconds, and frames. And 7 or 8 numbers is hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. To manually enter 15 minutes, 10 seconds, and 4 frames, you would enter 151004. You can use the plus or minus keys to add or remove time to the trigger. To add 5 frames, you would touch the box and enter plus 5. To add 10 seconds and 10 frames, you would enter plus 10, 10. Minus works the same way, so minus 4 would remove 4 frames. To remove a timecode trigger and return a queue to manual control, enter minus minus. The timecode follow button turns the timecode triggering on or off by the individual queue list. If you activate the queue list while timecode is already running and timecode follow is on, the console will jump to the correct queue for the timecode state. It does not wait for the next trigger. Manually stepping back in the queue list temporarily disables the timecode follow. If you have stepped back, the button flashes. Pressing go will reactivate the timecode follow and jump to the correct queue position in the queue list.